Hello guys, today I'm gonna talk about how to install MegaHack V8 Pro and Geode in Linux. So, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have Geometry Dash installed. Uh, if you don't have Geometry Dash, pirate it, uh, buy it, whatever, just get Geometry Dash. If the play button isn't present, you need to enable Proton on Steam. So what Proton does, it enables you to play Windows games on Linux. So you enable it, just go to the top left corner, settings, compatibility, and make sure this is turned on and select whichever version you want. So once you selected the version, it will prompt you to restart. So in this case, you actually, you need to restart Steam. But of course, I'm not going to restart it here, obviously. So, the next thing you're going to do is install Wine. What Wine does, it enables you to run Windows programs on Linux. So, if I have Proton, why do I need Wine to be installed? In my opinion, it's kind of a more elegant way of running Windows programs. Because I see other tutorials is that they rename the installer to geometry-exe and if they do that, once they press the play button, it will run the installer instead of the actual geometry dash. Because what launching does, it runs whatever it's called geometry-exe. So I think that's not a very elegant way to do this. So instead, I'll just install Wine. So uh, as you can see here, I already installed. I'm gonna show the command anyway. So the command is sudo apt install wine. So when you press enter, yes, you may need to enter your password here because we're, we're using sudo. But anyway, I installed that. So I don't need to do anything. So the next thing you want to do, contrary to what you might think, we're gonna run Mega Hack installer first. So, um, so let me open terminal in here. So what you're gonna do is run wine config like this, wine cfg. So what this does, it kind of sets up your wine. After running this command, you don't have to do this every time you want to use wine. Uh, if you're lucky, just right click this and you will see you can use wine directly in here, but uh, the shortcut is obviously not present here. So if you do not have the shortcut, what you need to do is a uh, list the current directory got the file name copy and then do wine paste enter so this will run the mega hack pro installer so why do i run the installer first instead of the geode because you know if you don't install geo first you can't actually install mega hack pro with geode so the purpose of this is to look at this letter here in this case, it's called Z. Remember this, we're gonna use this later. So now you've got the drive letter, what you're gonna do now is run this geode installer. So we open terminal, Y, uh, let me list the directory first, copy this, Y, copy that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the real thing. We're gonna install geode. Okay, okay, next, I agree. Nobody reads that. Okay, so, 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 this is a key step. So what is the geometry folder? So you might think, oh, I know that. Just go to the, the property, browse local files. There you go. That's the geometry folder. And yes, you're correct. This is indeed the geometry folder. But what you realize, once I paste it in, it still says this path does not have geometry dash installed. So why is that? This is a very dumb decision Geo has made. So what you're going to do, remember our drive letter? Well, it's said, right? It's said. So this is very stupid. You're going to have to replace every slash with a backslash. It's that simple. It's very stupid. But yeah, I'm just going to replace them real quick. And there you go. All of a sudden, you can install that. It's very dumb. I know it's very dumb, I know it's very dumb, but that's what it is, right? Yes, so once you've completed installing Geode, you can essentially just go back to 
the Mega Hack Installer and run the Universal Installer again. So basically, uh, as you may know, Mega Hack would not detect the correct path on Linux. Even if you use detect path, it just doesn't detect. So what you're gonna do is press three dots and go to root directory just like this, just like I did. If you install the geometry dash by default, you know if you haven't moved around the files, it should be at home user. Uh, so what you might notice here is that there's a dot steam folder that's in the path but it doesn't show up here because it's hidden. Just gonna select all files and type in dot steam and press enter. Wow all of a sudden you're inside. Wow. Okay so if you use Ubuntu your geometry folder will be in Debian installation instead of Steam. Don't do Steam. Do Debian installation instead and steam apps common geometry dash there you go you got geometry dash executable just open this real quick and press install as you can see you have successfully installed the mega hack pro if you do not have any issues once you've done all that that's actually one more step to do you right click geometry dash and click properties copy this command here just be sure to replace here with the name of this DLL. So it should start with X input. You will recognize this DLL. So once you've done all that, there you go, you can launch the game. Alright, you can use Mega Hack now. That's good news. How about Geode? Wow, I can use Geode too. Wow. I can install mods, no problem. Because I tried. Alright, that's it for the video. Alright, thanks, bye. Subscribe, like, comment below if you have any problems. I will try to help you out. Yes, yeah, I'm already installed. So.